G'day, and this morning we're going to be talking about uh, termites and termite nests. Uh, we're in the backyard of a property at Mount Gravatt East, and unfortunately for the owners here, there's been extensive damage to this back half of the, of the home here. It's literally got to be, uh, all the walls will need to be exposed to find out the extent of the damage, but just from the little tests we've done, it appears that it's going to be quite extensive, uh, and that's unfortunate for them. Now, why we're going to be talking about termite nests and termite damage is because it's always very difficult to find subterranean termite nests of the two aggressive species that we get commonly in southeast Queensland. Um, now this particular species up here are called Coptotermis and uh, they are singularly the most persistent and aggressive ones that we get commonly here. Um, now there's five common species that we get in total and three of the others are not so aggressive. Um, it's a bit of a Murphy's Law when you get an above ground nest like this has obviously been here for a long time. Uh, these are called Microceratermis and they don't do significant structural damage like the copter term is up in the house. Now of course the nest is above the ground, it's easily visible um, and when you find the nest like this there's no problems that you're going to solve, the, uh, that you're going to have a, uh, a great strike here. So what we're looking for is a termite nest which is underneath the ground or in a textbook world in the base of a large gum tree and there's a few of them in this property uh, or in the base of a large stump which is dead and can be just a potential termite hotel. Now you can never be sure or whether there's a nest inside that tree with that first test drilling into it. So I've happened to drill a few of these gum trees through here and I haven't found the cavity on the inside which would normally house the nest, uh, but until I got to this stump here. Now this is a large dead gum tree, so really that's a perfect scenario for these coptotermies. And I've drilled a few holes into the center of it just to determine if it is or not. Now once I drilled the holes, I found the cavity on the inside, I've drilled a few holes, and you can see here are the species of coptotermies that have come out to see what's going on and to patch this hole up again because they feel that the colony is under attack. Um, this is just one I've done. I've had to do a few at a few different heights. And here's another one up higher. We're sort of about chest height now, or a little bit lower. And, uh, and these guys are aggressive. I mean, you can come up here and some termites will run away from you. These guys here will have a go at you. But uh, when you're finding big numbers like this inside one of these big stumps, and that's a, that's, um, we know the treatment up, upstairs um, and around the base of this home is going to be successful anyway, but it's always nice to have a, a drill around and see if you can find the nest of these copter termies because they're just, these are the ones that keep us termite guys on our toes and, and uh, we're confident this is at least one of the nests in the area. And uh, so we'll get some termidor on the inside of this tree stump and make sure that's the end for these fellas. Have a great day.